Now, fishing on Lake Victoria has for decades supported over 4 million people that depend on the lake. However, increased pollution over the years has led to dwindling stocks, causing strain among dependents of the lake. But as Laura Otieno reports, new fishing interventions are once again beaming rays of hope into the fishing industry. The sunset at Lake Victoria signifies the start of the day for fisher folk. The preceding afternoons usually swarmed with activity as they ensure systems are in place for the evening expedition. But a three-year-old Lynette Trogo on a boat, the mother of five, is here to ensure her crew is up to speed with this new electric engine. <laughs> With an estimated 200,000 petrol engine boats setting out to the lake daily, pockets of oil spills are a common occurrence here. According to a study by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, light oils and petroleum products cause acute toxicity in fish. Locally, the East Africa Legislative Assembly ratified the Lake Victoria Basin Commission Bill of 2019, which once assented, will see the formulation of a contingency plan to enhance response to oil pollution in Lake Victoria. The only option that we had is the motorized engine that uh, is uh, petrol propelled. And uh, much as there are issues of spinage, it, can, it cannot miss. But what else would we have used? So this is the time now to say that we have an option and we need to move from uh, pollution of the lake. With dwindling fish stocks slowly closing the profit margins for those that depend on fishing as their economic mainstay, the rehabilitation of Lake Victoria by embracing clean energy is seen as one of the steps towards the right direction with various stakeholders putting in resources that will act as a buffer for the sustainability of the blue economy. Mobility and electric mobility generally is a global market. Uh, and where the benefits can really uh, be shown clearly, we think is on the water. Especially in countries like Kenya, where uh, renewable energy is so abundantly available uh, that the electric mobility on the water can be highly sustainable and affordable. And as the fishermen here lay their nets at night to wait for a catch, they keep hope alive that the use of clean energy on the lake will dawn a fresh start for the once vibrant fishing sector to restore their livelihoods and secure a better future for generations to come. Laurel Tieno, Citizen TV.